What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's Saturday. Matco Michaels here. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. That's a big old bottle, Jack. It is. I'm gonna raise up some stuff right there. <laughs> Golly, man. You, know you might as well just unload that here if you can't sell it. it. You know, that thing almost sold this week a couple of times, and I, I've had the same thought. The only reason I haven't is because we're behind at the toolbox plant. So, you know. Yeah, you might as well just unload that here. If I come back from Expo after I've ordered my boxes and stuff, uh, and I've got more boxes to go right on the truck, that'll probably be unloaded at the house. <laughs> it's probably got a home. Uh, if they ever come out with a Revel X, <clears throat> Triple Bay, Top Box, it's gonna be hard. Like it's gonna be hard to get me away from the white, but that right there will be my <laughs> next choice. Cause I, I really like that box, and, and, I love and other that. people do too. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's just a good looking color combo. I can't tell you how many videos we've talked about that box and how we've almost sold it. And, and you know, I've got a guy right now that's kind of nibbling at the bait. You know, he wants it. Nobody wants to finance anything right now. Um, I understand. You know, it's kind of like buying a new car. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to jump out there and do it. But at some point, you you, you need what you need, right? Man, that's a good looking box, dude. Huh? I don't know. So, somebody I, was asking about that brake bleeder you showed. Yeah. Do you remember the part number on that? Mm, or have I you got one? Should still have one. No. Where? I don't know. Oh, I may not. Yeah, right there's one. Uh, so we'll take there we go. The uh, BB seven zero eight fifty two. So yeah, I saw somebody with. Ford that works on Ford's commented that it was a recall or something like that and they are kind of hard to bleed and stuff like that so right. I mean that just tells me that if it works for it that'll help all the people that work on the Fords mm -hmm. um, I tell you what I hate about brakes and that's the stupid wind back that right calibers there is a freaking trim removal tool isn't it that's it. That's it. Um, I use those a lot on like headliners and stuff when I used to do them. That's a long one right there. But that also works good for some of those hard to reach spots on a gas tank and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you can't do anything with the hoses, but you know some of those they clip them uh, wiring harnesses way back there in about the middle. Yeah. It's like man, I can't get it down. <laughs> I can't get it down enough to take the fuel lines loose because yeah. I can't get the freaking wiring harness loose. Well, we've, so. uh, that Bose radio in there, we'll come to diagnose it to be the amps bad on it. And man, you got to take the entire truck apart to get that <laughs> amp, <laughs> amp out of there. But that's what we're working on now. But I could have used um, one of those double jointed, you know, kind of like the spark plug sockets. She yeah. said it was double jointed. Man, there's some bolts and stuff in there that is just almost impossible. I ended up having to use like a the little ratchet bit yeah. set that I got from you, that S bit eleven. Yep. And uh, me and Kevin both was about to beat our heads against the pavement for it. Finally get that thing out of there. So uh, we we have all know Joe, the other Maco distributor. Uh, we used to work together at a dealership, and he used to do these uh, different things on new cars you know he on one of them we did the trd uh speaker system and then we did uh superchargers on different star on different stuff and remote starts on different stuff i won't tell you doing it doing some of that stuff man it's like the first one is mm -hmm. it's like i don't think i ever want to do it again <laughs> now once you kind of figure it out and you get your tools that you're going to need and the yeah. tips and the tricks and everything else it's okay but 
I'll tell you, on some of those, uh, you had to run a new harness from the front to the back for the TRD on one of the models, and that sucked. I mean, it, it, it absolutely sucked, just the stuff that you'd have to take loose. Yeah. Uh, and then when you got the first one done, you was like, well, I really didn't have to do this or that, and it was okay at that point, but that first one sucked. But it's just one of those things. Um, well, you got the hoss daddy of pry bars there. I've decided to keep one of those on the that truck That thing is at all touching time. the floor, guys. Yeah, it's... So that uh, tells you how long it is. <laughs> I've decided just to go ahead and keep that on the truck. Um... I had hand. once, I had it last year after Expo, sold it, but it stayed on the truck a little while. I don't keep these things now about a week. Um, I've sold probably six in the last three weeks. That's good. Uh, I just off of, hey, I want that. It's like, yeah. well, that was ordered for somebody. Let me Sabine. get you another one. <laughs> so I finally went through the orders, and I've got one back for stock. So I don't expect it to be there long, and I think I'm going to rotate it. They've got a green one, an orange one. And the red one, I think I'm just going to rotate because um, I really don't have room for. Yeah, that's a lot of. I don't have. You probably could fit two in that space, but that's about yeah. it. Well, yeah, but that's just that's that is what it is. But this week I kind of wanted to show what tool was selling the most, uh, and this week it's this one here. Um, I've sold two sets of these already this weekend. Um, and it's just your well, everyday. They're long too, ain't they? <laughs> the, the long ones are long. Yeah. So we all know that we need torques and Allens and your inverted torques. So normally, when I first started, I would sell a whole bunch of the Torx bit sets, and I would sell them in just the little little you know strip. The little rails. Yeah. And then we started selling like a 26 piece of it. Well, then when we got the 75 piece, this is what this is what this is. Now I've got people trading those in to get these in. So right. this week, that's what we've been doing all week. We've been um, selling these like crazy, just because it gives them everything they need all at mm -hmm. once. I've had I like been able to grab one kit like that, yeah. that way. Well, that's what they about. said. Um, you know, the the rails are great with the torques because you can take them to the car and mm -hmm. you have them right there. Um, but when you're doing a lot of these jobs, it's nice to have the long and the short right there together. But I've had people tell me, uh, like on service trucks, they want these because they can just pick it up and go. Yeah. Uh, and then I've even got technicians, like in their box, what they're doing is they're just taking the pins out here. That is one thing I like about our cases, mm -hmm. that instead of it being, you know, that uh, molded together case that likes to break eventually anyway, they got these pins here. They just drive these pins out and they sit them beside each other in their box. Yeah. Uh, and then they can take which one they need. And they do stay in there well. Um, so they don't, they're not falling out when they go to take them or anything. So. What's the part number on that? So, yeah. Let's see. S, S, well, let me just type it in so it can tell me I'm wrong. Because if we don't know, somebody will be asking. Oh, we. And I guess it's a lot of trouble to hit that search bar and look up okay. stuff because well, <laughs> nobody wants to do it. It's just going to get a lot more, um, I don't know how I'm going to say this. It's just going to get a lot more easier and user friendly, User friendly, but it's also just going to be better. And and I'll go into that to a little bit of detail, but just know that what I'm just going to tell you, your distributor may not have yet. Uh, and it's it long way, and some of y'all's distributors don't got it. We're getting it this way, or I'm getting it today. Um, but the part number on this is SBS75V. Uh, it's the 75 piece master set. It, I'm really glad we got this because, you know, snap ons had the blue point set for a long time in the mm -hmm. gray case. And uh, when we come out with this, now we have something to compete with that. Right. So, And these are lifetime warranty. We do not replace the um, the bits. If they break, you get a whole new socket. So that's, cool. you know, the regular Mako. Um, I don't know how Mako wants me to call those, but the regular Mako, they're drive, you drive them out and drive a new one in. Mm -hmm. That's all good and well, but I like just handing a new one too. So, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's preference. But what I was hinting to a while ago, uh, and then I got sidetracked back to this, is we're getting a new system. Uh, and on that new system, we're kind of coming to the times, and now you can actually log in to the app 
and get permissions from your dealer to actually see the inventory they got. You can order tools, you can set tools to broken, and it sends him a notification and it tells him, hey, they got this tool broken, mm -hmm. and it, you know, go ahead and order it now. Or, hey, they want this tool, you got it in stock, go ahead and put it back for them. And uh, you can That's pay, cool. yeah, you can pay your, um, your PSA payment or toolbox payment, whatever you got a PSA for. You can pay that payment on the app. You can also, they can send you money on the app. Um, so, like the distributor, they can send you, uh, they've got people who's making tool payments to their tool dealer at one and two in the morning. It's like, hey, you know what? I'm up, man, I forgot to make mm -hmm. a payment. Here you go, I'll make a payment, so. That's good. Um, Any way you can make it easier is better. You well, know? And with you technology, know, why not, you know? I had to go to Memphis today, and I know some of the dealers are like, we're, our, some of the people's like, where's Memphis? But everybody that knows us around here knows that Memphis is just above us. But anyways, I had to go up there, and there's an Amazon plant there, and that thing, I swear, is huge. Um, and the reason it's so big is everybody likes getting on an app, and they like ordering right mm -hmm. when they're thinking about it. So the fact that you can actually go on the app now and order from your distributor, it, to me, is just the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, you could always go on the Maco app and order it, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't benefit in your dealer when you did that because your dealer wasn't tied to that app. Now when you log into that app and you put your distributor in that app, you're benefiting him. So, That's good, yeah. um, you know, you're buying directly from him. You're not buying directly from corporate. You're buying mm -hmm. from him. So you're still helping that tool truck that comes and services you and everything else. So uh, I think the app's going to be great. I've got one guy on my route that he'll come on the truck and he'll go right to something and he'll go, I need this. And I'll start telling him, I don't need a price. I looked on the app okay and then when other people's on the truck it's kind of cool because they'll be sitting there looking at something and he'll pull the app up and he's already showing them mm -hmm. you know the price and well let me show you this and it's i mean he's really a seller and don't even know he's selling for me yeah. but um when he gets that app i'm really curious to see what he does because he likes to stay at home and look at that app and mm -hmm. look at tools and he always has a list of what he wants there anyway, ain't no telling how much you'll buy off that app. But, that's good. You know, for the people that like to buy when they think about it, and that's the number one thing that I hear on the, the tool truck is, I had something that I needed to get from you today, but I forgot. I'm I'll, bad about that. I'll remember yeah, when you leave, that. you know, so that's going to cut that out too. So, Or I'll be working on something and be like, man, i got to remember to get you know, get this on the Matco truck when I see Michael. Yeah. And I get on here and I'm like, man, it was something. That's right. I don't remember or what was broke, right? Yeah. What, what did I break again? So I think that and, and alone is going to be good. And, and like I said, some of y'all's distributors ain't going to have it right now. They're rolling it out slowly. Uh, some of them's had it probably six months to a year now. So it, and it all depends on the distributor and everything as well, where they're at. So, you know, that's cool. But, and I got something else I want to talk about, but I don't know a lot about it. So I'm going to let everybody tell me about it. So I've got this hammer here. I know, how do you not know about a hammer, right? It hits stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. So this hammer looks an awful lot like this hammer. Yeah. But they call this one a soft-faced hammer. Really? I'm guessing that's, you know, I, I have had guys tell me all week that's not soft. I know, it's not soft. <laughs> um, yeah. And I read the description on the tool um, catalog and it don't give it just, you know, it don't tell me just a whole lot. But when and where do we use a soft face hammer the most? Because um, I've never owned one. I've never had a. I've never seen a soft face hammer made out of metal. It's normally the plastic. Right. Base. So, so. kind of confused by that. I'm sure somebody will tell me where that'll come in good handy. Um, somebody in California may have been uh, come up with that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I may have been on them herbs too much that day. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that there's somebody out there that needs this. Um, no, soft nobody. Soft face, but it's. It says soft head, but uh, I, I don't know. Um, sledgehammer. I don't know. It ain't bronze. It ain't brass. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it says resist over striking without breaking with spring bars that run all the way through the handle. I knew the bars run through the handle. I've seen that before. Um, but I don't know how you resist over striking when it's still, I guess it's the type of metal, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, I'm going to say that somebody somewhere is going to try it out. And I'm sure somebody's got one, so just let me know. Um, 
but to me, you paint it orange and you got the same hammer. I don't know. Um, I doubt it. But I don't know either. And I, and I know it's not. I, I shouldn't say that uh, I don't know. Because well, it's got an S and an H stamped on the top. Soft head, I guess. I don't know. Um, but see, that one has 30 to 35 HRC. This one had don't hit nothing harder than 30 to 35. Uh, this one is actually where did I see that at? 46. So I don't know. Um, mm, I don't know either. Somebody will tell me about it, or I'll read about it somewhere. But <laughs> I just got that in this, earlier this week, and I hadn't done my homework on it. And everybody on my routes. Uh, We've all, we were all scratching our heads. I don't know. You can only say when you said soft face hammer, I thought it was going to be bronze or brass. Yeah, well, you and know, then have the you know silver color and over it. Yeah, you know, I've, yeah, like that. Yeah, like this. I've seen these and I've used these on like aluminum and stuff. The, you know, you're trying to get the control arms loose or something. The aluminum ones. I don't know. Somebody, uh -huh. somebody will let us know. I'm sure. But that is a new tool. We just, uh, I haven't done my homework on it yet, so we, <laughs> I will, and I'll let y'all know <laughs> after somebody tells me. Uh, well, but that's good. as far as the best sellers this week, it's, it's been this set. The ADV sockets are always one of the best sellers. Mm -hmm. That is what it is. Um, but I, I feel like we're getting um, into AC season, so I'm waiting on that that rush to come too. Yeah, that's what that's what we did this week was AC jobs. Yeah, I did one. Day before yesterday and one yesterday, so. Well, I've actually charged. I actually like that because yeah. it's easy. <laughs> Gravy train work. Well, I've got an AC machine ordered for somebody. Um, as soon as it comes in, um, I'll drop it off. But I'm curious to see when the big switch between 134. And one, two, three, four. And when that will actually happen. Because right now you're still selling more. Mm -hmm. One uh, 134 than you are or anything, and you've got a few shops starting to try to plan ahead and buy, especially your dealerships. They're kind of yeah. forced to go ahead and get it because they got the newest of the new. See, the Ford place bought a new one, yeah, and they never even used it. They went out of business, and it was still wrapped in plastic. Somebody bought. He sold both of those AC machines for four grand. Four grand. So I know, and and this may have just been Toyota. I don't know, but when they shipped. The one to us, it was a ten thousand dollar machine. So there's no telling how much of a loss he took mm -hmm. on that just to sell. Um, but I, this is I'm actually selling to a Ford place. They're buying an AC machine, um, and they're buying the one, two, three, four, of course, because that's. Well, what see, all they got the combo ones too. You know that does both. Yeah, and I'm curious to how that works because they say they're not supposed to. Uh, I'm guessing they got two, uh, two hoses on each side. I think I'm it's guess. got two hoses and two tanks. Yeah, because I know. Uh, they say that you're not supposed to be able to mix it, uh, and then I've heard people say they mix it and it does fine, but uh, I, don't I don't know about know. that. I don't know that I would try that. That's it's an expensive system. I know that it, that yeah. uh, Freon is expensive. See, our new truck's got the one, two, three, four in it. Yeah. And I, which I went to the class on it, but I'm not buying a machine because it's going to be years before we need yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Well, see, and that's what I'm interested to see. Where when body shops start needing it. Um, because everybody knows a car can get wrecked pulling out of the dealership. Yeah. So when body shops start needing it, and then when uh, others, it trickles down to your mom and pop shops and stuff like that. This stuff's just too expensive either. You know, that little old cylinder's like, I think it's 10 pounds. And yeah. It's like 600 bucks. It's yeah. stupid high. Yeah, I know when we were, when I was a service manager, um, we were buying it from Napa or AutoZone or somewhere, and they called us and they said, hey, we got it on sale. You need to place your order. So we're like, yeah, sure. So we place to order and then they're like oh sorry we can't sell it to you because nobody we don't have a somebody certified certified on file and it's like well y'all never had to have somebody certified mm -hmm. uh, and i had text that was see certified. i had to go get it just to buy 134 even yeah i'm like what's the difference you can go to walmart and buy it off the shelf and i was like i'm sorry i ain't gonna argue i went yeah. to class no big deal but. well i ended up getting online and taking it and uh Cause I had just, that was in my first week and I didn't know if any of the text was or not. I knew it was something we was going to check on, but instead of going out there and figuring out, I just took the test online and sure enough, I sent them the paper that said that I was certified in it and they started selling it to us. But, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's something else. A lot of shops don't, they don't have that certification. They just, yeah. they buy it in the small ones and they make it happen. That's true.
one last tool we're going to talk about. I hadn't had a whole lot of these on the truck, but these have been really popular in our area recently. They've been on back order. I find, I've got that ordered for a customer. Um, I still ain't got the one in for stock. You know, I've had the Flex back there. Right. Um, I've had the 3.0. I ain't been able to keep these on the truck since they come out because they're so popular. And they're a lot, they're, you know, price right. They're, there's... There's one before this that doesn't do a whole, whole lot. It gives you codes in your data list. Then there's this one. Then there's the Flex. Then there's the 3.0. So as far as uh, how many tools that we have that can be used for diagnostic, we have a lot, which I like. So we mm -hmm. have every stage. We have the guy that's only going to tinker with it every once in a while. Then we have this one that can actually be used as a quick, uh, I guess, a quick grab to do stuff with. And this can be used as a basic um system or they can pay more for the brand that they want to do uh, monthly and it'll give them more capability uh, I've s successfully sold two of them and everybody's really liked them um, other distributors have sold more than that just because they can get them a lot quicker I guess um, but I don't like ordering just a whole whole lot of them until I see how they're gonna do right. test the water so if you're looking for a uh, well-priced diagnostic tool take a look at that one and see what you think uh, on the flex i probably wouldn't go any other way than a full unlock um, but if i if i happen to pay what this one costs i could probably see paying for you know some some software here or there um, especially if because i have some i have some shops that only specialize in certain stuff like i have one shop that all they work on is toyotas right uh, and then I have another place that they build wrecks, but they mainly only build Chevrolets. That's all they build. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what they like. And so it benefits them. You know what you see more than anything. So if if you're looking for one, keep this in mind. Um, and if you can if you can get your dealer to have one on their truck, <laughs> you know if it if they can keep it. Um, I like the fact that it does the DPF reset. Right. So, you know, that's getting more and more common, too, because more and more mm -hmm. of your smaller cars are going diesel, yeah. and then you have that. Um, so now most of the time when you say the, the DPF reset, um, they're like, oh, I don't, I don't work on big trucks. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, yeah. yeah, but <laughs> do you work on a Jeep? Because yeah. <laughs> I've seen Jeeps uh, and smaller stuff, and... I think Volkswagen has some smaller stuff yeah, too. Even the Nissan half tons got a Cummins yeah. in it, you know. So, so I mean, there's a lot of smaller cars that's got diesels yeah. in it now, and they'll throw you off when you walk by them, and it's sitting there, and you're like, hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you Chattering. look, you look and see that it's a diesel. So, I like that. It does do the anti-theft. It does do the steering relearn. So, I mean, as far as a lot of the normal stuff, I mean, it does. So, a uh -huh. couple of tools to look for. Maybe remember somebody comment. We'll have thirty comments about how I should know what this is, but <laughs> I've never seen it. You it didn't either. So you hit your finger with it. It ain't too soft. It ain't too soft then, right? <laughs> See ya. But I, I've had everybody tapping on it. So everybody's probably wondering where my wife's at. She's off today. So <laughs> last week y'all had her. Didn't sell video. a toolbox and still got off. That's been a pretty good. good week. Pretty good week. So good deal. All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. We have some new links in there. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, press that button. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. Just click it. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you next time. See ya.